Hello and welcome to our first 2020 episode for Supercoach Insider. My name is Ben. And I'm Chris. And thank you for joining us. It has been a long time. <sighs> Chris, you really let the ball drop, mate. <laughs> I have to let the ball drop. But my hair's back to black, so, you know, we're good. We're good to go. Back to black. We're back in black and ready to go. Back in black. Collingwood supporters, um, thank you for joining us. This is our introductory episode. We're just going to go through a little bit in what's been happening. Catch uh, up with what we're doing this uh, this year, which will be pretty cool. Yeah, quick little ramble and go through our first thoughts on the 2020 structures, the first look at how we're looking at starting our sides, and also give you a bit of an insight in far as far as what's happening for 2020, how we're looking at structuring up, because there are some changes. And Chris, this is our third year breakout season. Yep. I'm going to go with, you know, maybe fifth year breakout for me, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm talking about our podcast. Chris. Yeah, no, I'm saying it's going to take me a couple more years. Oh, this right. Is your breakout. Okay, okay. My breakouts, uh, I've got a couple more years up, in my, up my sleeve. So. Right. Well, you always were a bit stunted. Um, <laughs> That's true. Just to first of all, first of all, uh, thank you to everyone who has listened to us over the last couple of years, who has joined and liked our Twitter. We're about to hit 2,000 on Twitter as well, which I'm really happy about. Uh, we've had 90,000 listens in the last two years, which is no small feat. So That's true. Really excited about that. Thank you again. Hashtag bless, the first one of the year for everyone that's listened. That's not including everything on Twitch, YouTube, etc. That's just our podcast. Correct. That's all yep. the audio platforms. So not Twitch and not YouTube. Um, and we're also about to hit 1,400 or so on Facebook as well. So I'm really excited. It's going to be a big year. I think um, last year we basically doubled our connection growth. Um, so if we can do that again, we would be... That'd be fairly massive. I connection don't know we... growth. You're talking like I understand these words, Chris. <laughs> Essentially, like, you know, how many likes we had on Facebook and yes. social media, listens, etc. Basically, it all doubled in, in 12 months, which is just insane. Okay. Um, so, if we can do that again, that would be awesome. That would be legitimately a third year breakout. breakout. So, yeah, really excited to, to see what this year's got in store for us. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, the reason I called you Slack, Chris, isn't because I haven't spoken to you in a few weeks. Uh, it's actually good to get a bit of time off. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, congratulations to old Benny oh, Boy here for getting thank engaged. You. Thank it's you, the first thank time you. I've seen you since the, it since is. the moment. So, it's, it is. It is. I've been good. jet lag this week. So tell all the listeners what how it went down. Like what was uh, the what was the plan? Okay, so I'm officially broke again, and um, <laughs> had a short term status of some money, and then dropped it all on a female. So um, look, everything everyone was wonderful. We're in Europe, and I dropped the knee in Prague, and uh, long time coming. We've been together over four years. So yeah, it's um, hashtag uh, whipped. I'm so, so proud of you. Thank you. And then now we got your wedding coming up. So that's Yeah, three weeks away. Yeah. Yep. Actually under three weeks as of as of uh, today. So we're hitting our peak. And it's funny because you just gave me a compliment as I was about to rip on you. I was oh, yeah. literally <laughs> just getting into it because yes, we have our um our Facebook leagues and all of our so supercoach insider leagues and we have winners and stuff on that. And I checked Twitter Chris and people are expecting mugs that you promised around I Christmas. I know. Yeah, I'm pretty slack. You have pulled I have a, been slack. You've been away pulling a motlop shoving pies and donuts into your face. Is Motlop still oh, around? I have been pretty busy <laughs> this yeah. morning. But um, that will come down. Yeah, we'll get them out to you before the season starts, guaranteed. Uh, yep. it'll, it'll. I'm hoping that this month we'll actually have it sorted. But it's the wedding okay. is on the 1st of Feb. Yep. So once we knock that out of the park, I'll be able to focus on But look, I up. haven't forgotten about you guys, I swear. And I've actually got money coming in as well. So it will happen. It definitely will happen. It will happen. And uh, uh, cheers, might I add. Cheers. Let's this go for the... Getting into the Teds uh, for our first beer this year. Mainly because it was free beer that uh, I got from work That's for Christmas. why you brought it over. Absolutely. I don't, I don't, I don't actually I've buy been, it. I've been trying to behave myself. So there's no beer in the house thinking this will be great. And then Chris rocks up with a six pack. And Lord and behold, they're free. Oh, that's good. Yeah, free beer is always better than, uh, than paid beer. Hey, that's, that's true. If it's free, it's me. That's true. Uh, okay, Chris. What are your first thoughts regarding the 2020 season, the structures... Uh, we both have Team Picker, so unfortunately those who don't will have to wait a little bit longer. It won't be that much longer. It's going to, usually going to have around um, Australia Day is when they launch uh, Supercoach officially. So yep. only really a couple more weeks until you'll be able to log in if you don't have um, Supercoach stats uh, paid for. Um, if you do want them, you can actually um, still go and buy Supercoach stats um, on the Herald Sun website. And you will get access, but you have to email them to yeah. give you access. You have to let them know that you have paid and you want that access and they'll give yeah. it to you. Um, essentially, what, we, what I did uh, straight away was I actually went back and listened to our end of season pod last year. So You're keen? I, I went back and had a listen to about things, you know, that, and we, we chatted about things I want to know for next year or players that I could potentially pick based on how they went this year, etc. Um, I had a bit of a listen to. That's, that's where I started. 
Well, you um, were big on Dawson even before that, saying if he I got was. forward defender swing, you are locking him in. But have you got cold feet now, Chris? No, I'm, I, he's in the range. He's on my team currently. Um, I'm very interested in Dawson as a pick, uh, but we will see how it goes. There's about three or four players that are around that same price point, all with breakout potential to be a top six forward this year. So I'm um, I'm umming and ahhing about that last you know f- premium forward pick because I think everyone knows right now that you know, F1 and F2 are basically going to be Whitfield and Dusty. So it's, it's really that F3 position that is the one that's up in the air. But we'll work through that. Okay. Um, so, yeah, uh, essentially what I um, when I went back and had a listen to the old podcast, um, the biggest thing that I took from it, which is how I'm approaching the start to this year, is I'm loading up the midfield. There's a massive, massive gap between the top six midfielders and the rest of the competition. A huge gap. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I might have heard you wanting to go six deep, Chris. I'm g- currently going six deep. And that's really weird because it's I thought a lot of cash. you have to have a burst defect to get those kind of benefits. <laughs> yeah, usually. <laughs> usually. <laughs> usually. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I personally think that uh, this year is the year to not go outside the scope for midfield um, premiums. You are going to be choosing from the top six. You're not going to try and choose a breakout who's averaging 105 or 100 or 110, yeah. um, trying to get to that next level. They're already there. Most of those guys are already priced above 600K, so you're going to have to spend money in the midfield. My first, first thoughts on the defenders is that it's really kind of throw a blanket. It's hit and miss. The ones that you choose, you're kind of, you can expect some of them to be top 10, but are they going to be that top four or top two that you're actually paying for? And mm. I think that's a little bit more... Um, you're going to have to guess, realistically speaking. And the best part about that is is that there's so much value in defence as well. Yeah. So you could easily really thin it out on defence and hope not to, um, you know, playing like Minecraft, hope not to have one of your rookies just burst right in front of you. Absolutely. I think the key from last year as well that we found we discovered is if you're not kicking out from a defence, then you're not going to be a top super coach option. Yep, and if a guy so, like Daniel Rich comes and takes all your kickouts, <laughs> you will score horribly. That's true. The only one, I think, in the entire top 15 or 16 super coach players um, last year, and we'll get on to this very shortly, um, was Roy Darcy? Laird. Oh, Darcy Burns Zones didn't take any. He was about 90 odd, wasn't he? Yeah, he was but close. He was, not he, top 10, close to. Not even close. It, it, um, Houston as well, but he's obviously you know, transforming into a midfielder. Midfield, so there's, if he keeps th- there are some you know unique aspects of it but generally speaking if you're choosing a premium and they're not taking kickouts and they're playing yep. in defense i would avoid it at all costs okay um so Roy, you're looking at structuring let's get back to your structure so how many premiums in the midfield you're looking at six is i'm it? Uh, currently six and in, how many in deep in the forward line um two well three sorry i lie um yeah the third will be a breakout speculative so it's either going to be someone like a, a dawson or a parish i'm getting that one in early i really like parish this year yes um or potentially, you know, you go down to those next tier of, of speculative premiums, your Devin Smiths, your Jack Steven, etc. I probably won't go four deep there. The, if I do go four deep in terms of experience, the fourth person will probably be Stephen Hill. Um, yeah. Defender forward swing, adds a bit of flexibility to your team, but also is likely to get games if he's fit um, and can score well. Hill, he's fit. Yeah, one ninety k. So um, I think I think it's a, a fairly decent pick, but without yep. being a great pick at this point. So for those of you who have been with us for a little while, um, one thing you will know is that we usually release a spreadsheet every year. Some people really hang on to it uh, with the, the fires and everything going around. So quick shout out as well, anyone that's dealing tough with these fires, like we are, our thoughts are with you. And I've got some family that had were literally surrounded and they got really fortunate, but their friends weren't so fortunate. So if you are doing it tough, uh, our thoughts are with you. We did release a spreadsheet just to kind of share some love. It was Something a brand, brand new offer. year, and I thought, look, let's just get this out. And we spent a lot of time over this spreadsheet. So for those hanging out, go on to Twitter or Facebook. The link is there. If you're new to us as well, welcome, and welcome to the podcast. Uh, it's going to be a great year for us. So you can go on Facebook. We are Supercoach Insider forward slash... Oh, I don't even know. Facebook.com forward slash Supercoach Insider. SC Insider? Yep. I don't even know, SC Chris. SC Insider, something like that. It's a brand like new year. It's, it's around there. Just search Supercoach Insider. Let's just, <laughs> just, just Google it. It's been a while. Let's We're just... Pretty, I mean, if you Google us, you can find us pretty much anywhere anyway. So that's good. Yeah, just start with that. Just search Supercoach Insider. But that is a really great spreadsheet. We put that out there for you. Uh, a lot of the community has been loving it already. So thank you very much for getting around That's it. true. And I suppose the only other real, in terms of... Um, uh, approach to the season is whether you just lock in the two t- twin towers in Gorn and Grundy or yeah, you want to go or, a cheaper option. Yes, the the Jacobs and the few others are, are getting their round. 
Uh, I'll talk about my structure quickly, Chris. So I'm actually going the five deep in the midfield. Yep. I uh, think that's going to be the most five, popular Five deep route. with a pinky uh, expensive rookie <laughs> at this stage, Raul. Um, and so I've got, uh, you know, basically the, the rooks after that. I've gone with two premium, well, three premiums, three rookies in defense. And I'm including Doherty in that dropped premium category. I yep. still think he's a premium. Um, Stephen Hill and a couple rookies there. And then I've gone three deep in the forward line with Whitfield, Martin and Heaney. And then I've gone like Cockatoo, a couple of rookies, and I've gone Max Gorn and Grundy. But I will tell you, I have been tempted by the Jacobs simply because for 350k is great value, simply because they have the last buy, which is perfect. And he could, tapping down to that midfield, get around the 90 odd average. But if he fails, you've got nowhere to go. And that's what scares me. At least if you get a Jack Stevens or something that I know you like talking about. I missed that tweet, meanwhile. Chris is raging on, and he is never short of an opinion. I come on going, what's this anarchy and carnage? Imagine Chris running a podcast, bored. though, and not having an opinion about something. You'd be boring. <laughs> you would be boring. It'd be like watching paint dry. Um, but at least if you had Stevens and he failed, you could go one down, one up, or you could sideways and then try and get the Boke of 2020 or someone that you missed because you can't upgrade a rookie to a Boke. And that's why we missed out last year because you had to wait. Whereas if you have a failed... Uh, mid-pricer, at least you have options. You can then burn a trade and go to someone who is killing it, or one down, one up, and get a Whitfield if you don't have them, that kind of thing. Yeah, it's it's all going to be up in the air. I think I probably won't make my decision on that until... Oh, plenty of time. Until the day before round plenty one. Plenty of time. And <laughs> Five minutes before round one lock, and lockout. And full disclosure, if you send us your team right now asking for thoughts, I will not reply. <laughs> because even if I give you the best advice in the world... It'll change in five minutes. You're going to change it anyway. So how about we wait until the JLT and you've changed your team a hundred times and you're set and you're really set on what you want to do. Then that's where we put our little slice on the top on our little two cents. I, I generally don't change. So I, I've you know made my team now and I won't change it until I literally need to change it. So I'll think of and throw you know th- players through my head and look at, look at different players and stats and stuff. But we won't actually go back to the app until the week of actual super coach I like or I like to play AFL hypotheticals starting. like you know let's just try just a tip just you know just for just for a second see how it feels it's true I like it it's always good <laughs> but I mean this uh, what we're about to do now is get into our team by team podcast which reveals a lot of information about different players Huge. that you didn't actually necessarily consider or want to consider yes but should be in a talking point point. and I know some of you this is your favorite part we go team by team and we break down uh, basically, the premiums, the mid price, the speculatives, the, even the draft relevance. So, for those that are playing draft, we still love draft. Yep. And the best part about it is, uh, is that, yeah, here it is. Okay. <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry, just a, is, is this is dual premiership. This is running to, draft, draft deal. Dual, dual premierships. Uh, two time winner, two time winner of draft. Thank we you take very much. draft very seriously. I Chris, won three three drafts last year. <sighs> Yes, I won two. I think I won two. In the I, was in, I was in enough. <laughs> you I was in enough. You have um, like a, what, a, a 10% strike rate based on the amount of draft leagues. <laughs> I was in a few. Um, but in our main draft league, I'm a two-time winner. Chris is a two-time winner. He just won our 12-person draft league. We both love draft and our insight as far as who to pick. It's about picking uh, as many underpriced people as you can and not yep. buying overs. And it's about getting value, not picking people with injuries, and that's where that spreadsheet really does come in. Yeah, handy it doesn't well. matter where your draft pick is if you've, you've got to draft well. Yes. Trading comes into it after it, and you're a, probably the best trader, mainly because you're just ruthless. People don't trade with me anymore, though, because <laughs> they, they know it. He's got a reputation. They just stopped. They're like, just hang stop on. Stop trading with Ben. They're like, I'm going to get screwed over, so maybe I should just keep these people. <laughs> yeah, classic. And anyway. Um, that's yep. pretty much it. That's, uh, we just wanted to touch base on that sort of stuff before we get into the real, the big, the big stuff. For that, um,. We will be doing a top 10 prediction as well with SC Elites. They're really keen. We're really keen. And I know the community loved that podcast last year. Yep. And I even st- stirred the pot a little bit, just um, you know, saying, I wonder how many crap top 10 picks the Bumps uh, Express will <laughs> be putting forward this year. So um, he hasn't replied yet. So I think he's been sleeping. No, nah, he's probably working on it this year as stuck, opposed to last year. I think he did like at the station. 10 minutes before the podcast. He's like, oh yeah, I probably yeah. should look into these top 10s the, now. Eh? The Bumps Express has been uh, <laughs> stuck at the station. So... Also, t- quick touchdown on our 2020 podcast structure. So we have been listening to feedback. We have been working with the community. Uh, for those of you that have been here for the journey, a couple of years ago, we didn't stream video. It was literally just straight up podcast. This is what happened. This is what we've noticed. And these are the relevant things that came from the round. And some people really love that. And then last year we went with, okay, let's do a bit of a live interaction with the community. And some people like that as well. However... We did get a few um, 
not complaints, a few suggestions that maybe we should, you know, let's, okay, let's have some structure and let's have the facts for those that want to listen to that and then have the bit of smack talk that some really people really appreciate. It's sort of a little bit more, um, a lot of people don't want to listen to two hours of waffling on and sometimes we got a lot sidetracked when we were doing live podcasting because you're obviously responding and, and, you know, coordinating with the community, etc. Or so, answering the same question three times. Exactly um, right. And the good thing about this year is that I will have structure compared to last year. Myself, I was a bit in a bit of anarchy, so at least I'll be able to be a little bit more researched and structured as far as what we do. But we're looking at doing two podcasts, one at the start of the week, which is a round review, and that's just straight up and down. There'll be no Q&A, nothing like that. This is what we've noticed, this is what's relevant, and this is what's been happening. Then at the end of the week, we're looking at doing another podcast where that will be, okay, so Q&A, this is the team reveal, yep. and this is the banter time. This is where we interact with the community. It's the live podcast. And everyone will get the best of both worlds, and they'll be broken down into an hour segment each, so you can listen to one, you can listen to both, uh, you can listen to zero, you know, whatever's going on. Whatever but, um, but to keep this running and to keep this going on, Chris and I, we may not always be available twice a week. Um, so there is a guy who is definitely banter fresh. He is definitely opinionated. And every time I've been near him, he is nothing short of a good story and, and a, a laugh. And he's a really good communicator, which is, I think, really important, Chris. Definitely, yep. um, So he might actually be coming on. And he's, uh, we're actually going to call him, his, his name is uh, Lethal. Excellent. Uh, L-E-I-G-H, Lethal. Um, apparently the spelling counts. Uh, so Lethal Logic, he will be joining us at some stage throughout this year. I might try to get him on early just to say hey, but look, I can guarantee he is uh, good value. and It'll be good to interact with someone other than Ben as well. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, there's two there's two people here. There's two hands, Chris. You know, like make of it make of it as you will. So, and that's our first uh, innuendo <laughs> innuendo for uh, this year. Oh wow, we're um, straight back into it. Straight back into it. But yes, that is basically it in a nutshell. A couple podcasts a week, more love to share, and I'm um, looking forward to getting down and dirty. Excellent. Well, right. if you're uh, if you're if you're up, we're going to re- release these at the same time. But um, look forward to the Adelaide podcast coming straight up next. Yes, Adelaide podcast. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Bye.